And welcome back to Who Would Win. Today's Who Would Win comes to us from Victor Devon Doom. You asked the question, who would win a fight? Muhammad Ali or Floyd Mayweather? So every once in a while with these Who Would Wins, I actually get real people in who are like actual, not fictional characters, but real athletes, real fighters of some kind. Jackie Chan versus Bruce Lee. I've done uh, Ali versus Tyson before. Every now and then this comes up. So it's a little bit more, I mean, there's actual facts involved. <laughs> But there's also, so it's less about like writing and stuff like that, and more like what were these people actually capable of. Unfortunately, when it comes to boxing, I'm only a little above average on my knowledge of it. So take my opinion for what it's worth, but take it with a grain of salt. Floyd Mayweather is a 50 times uh, has fought a total of 50 fights, 50 wins. He was the he's fought in the uh, which was the what uh, uh, Walter weight, featherweight, lightweight. Super featherweight, light middleweight, and light welterweight divisions. And he's won all 50 of those fights. 27 of those, over 50% of them, are with KO. Um, Muhammad Ali, he had a grand total of 61 total fights. 56 wins, 37 by KO, but 5 losses. You could make the argument, though, that those losses were due to the fact that he was barred from fighting for at least 3 years, and that, and that may have really affected um, his... Uh, his um, record a bit. Um, so basically, yeah, Floyd's got the 100% record. From a percentage uh, standpoint, Floyd's got the better record. But Ali fought more fights, had a better percentage of KO knockouts by ooh, well over 50%, actually, because Floyd's percentage is a little above 50%. Uh, but I want to say it's like 55%. Ali's is a bit higher than 50, uh, 55% or 50%. Uh, Ali's is, uh, let me see here, 28, so, geez, Ali's goes into, like, I think the 60% of his matches were won by knockout. Uh, now, both these guys were obviously some of the best fighters, or some, or are the best fighters of their time in their respective, uh, divisions. I can't remember, I mean, one final comeback in 2000, okay, yeah, he's been retired now for about two or three years. Um, so, uh, in terms of Mayweather, Mayweather, uh, I Try to find the exact type of style he used. Boxing, let me try that again. Boxing style. But unfortunately, I can't get a definitive answer on that. Uh, what type of boxer is Floyd Mayweather? The problem is that that doesn't give me his style. Okay, the stance he uses. Is he a counter puncher? Offensively, May, yeah, offensively, Mayweather was mostly relied on counter punching. Again, this is a byproduct of his shoulder roll defense style. Or stance. However, his opponents are often keen to stress that although Floyd may lack one punch KO power, he hits a lot harder than people think. So basically, even though he not he won by knockout, he's not a KO like boom, just knock out like a Muhammad Ali, a Tyson type of guy. He's much better at like the counter punching and wearing the opponent down before he eventually wins by K either knocking you just on points or knocking you down. Period. Um. How do I fight like Mayweather? Oh, that's an actual video. Okay. Why did Gregor lose against Mayweather? Because because May McGregor's not a boxer. I'm just looking at all these like questions people ask. Uh, what stance does he use? Um, uh, Floyd Mayweather adopted an orthodox stance for his fights. This technique uses, uh, usually involves placing his left foot in front of the right, thus putting your opponent closer to you on your weaker side. Mahan Ali's styling, he was basically... Now, his style of boxing, he was a... Um, Ah, uh, what was it called? Um, crap. Uh, uh, style of boxing. Style. I literally just looked it up. Uh, does it give me a boxing style here at all? No, it doesn't. This this bothers me a bit here. Now, what, one second here. One second. Uh, Mahal Ali, boxing style. There we go. There we go. He was a... Out, I, I believe he was, uh, he was an outboxer. Was that what it was? was? Um... Uh, Muhammad Ali basically was a, um, what, I literally just looked it up and now it's bothering me that I forgot it. Uh, Ali was, for most of his prime, an outside fighter. That's what it was. Bas that, that I knew it was out something. So basically what Ali did is he basically stayed out of your reach. He stayed out of your reach and he even noted that he did it in an unorthodox and uncouth stuff, but he was able to basically just dodge and weave, he could even do it with his head, but dodge, weave, 
that's where more or less the rope dope came from, where he basically wore out his opponent and then came in and delivered the, and the like the killing blow, uh, the killing blow. Um, what was it? Him in Foreman Rumble and Jungle, where he was that the one where he basically delivered that punch nobody saw. Like Ali was a beast, and Ali could throw the punches too. Absolutely, he could dish it out. Uh, but he was he was a defensive star. What helped him out more than anything else was the fact that. He usually had a longer reach than his opponent, so this opponent had to come in in order to get to him. Otherwise, he was able to just stay out of the reach and just dodge, 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 or just take all the uh, the, uh, the damage from uh, by his opponent. The big problem here in these fights, um, these fights, is this: is that Floyd Mayweather, at the highest uh, weight class he ever participated in, at around 150 pounds. I believe it was Walter weight weight or light middleweight. I can't remember which one is the higher one. Uh, I think middleweight. I think Walter weight is a little higher. Yeah, the boxing class, uh, the boxing uh, weight divisions. One second, boxing weight divisions, weight classes. Here we go. Uh, I gotta be sure what the highest one he ever fought in was, and that way it'll give you give you a perfect example of um, what. Oh God, there's 17 of them. Holy crap. Um, point being, okay, so the lightest one, one second here, is minimum weight, which is 105 pounds. Now, as we, as I just discussed, he's fought in the, um, the lightweight, super featherweight, featherweight, super lightweight, welterweight, and the middleweight even. Uh, so the highest he's ever fought in is the, uh, is a light middleweight division. Now, I'm Fortunately, there here is the problem. At uh, 5'8", 150 pounds, he's not a tall guy, but he's no, no, also not a short guy. He's a light guy, though. I'm like, I weigh more than he does, and he could kick my ass in a heartbeat, uh, at least when it comes to boxing. Um, there, I did, cruiserweight's apparently a class, too. That's interesting. Um, but And they've obviously light heavyweights, 175, super middleweight. But he fought in light middleweight, which is, uh, there is no light middleweight at the moment, uh, as far as I can tell. So it was probably somewhere in like the 160, 150 area. Uh, so somewhere just, so like super Walter weight or something like that. It's probably got its name changed. Point being is that, actually, let me double, ch let me just be sure, or I read that right for him. He fought in the, wow, light middleweight. There is no light middleweight. So yeah, it must've been, uh, they must've renamed it or something like that. Point being. Muhammad Ali was a heavyweight fighter. He is four weight classes above Floyd in just alone. Now, obviously, weight, we don't really have a clear-cut weight for Muhammad Ali because he's dead, unfortunately, now. Uh, in his prime, though, he easily would have been weighing in at minimum 200 pounds. I mean, he had 50 pounds on May Floyd Mayweather at his minimum. Not only that, he's six foot three. The man was literally eight inches taller, <laughs> and his reach was seventy-eight in inches. Um, now, what is um, Floyd Mayweather's reach? Uh, Floyd Mayweather's reach. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Reach. Uh, his reach is okay. Yeah, actually, it's amazingly, he had a seventy-two inch reach. That's actually pretty good for a guy that small comparatively. So he actually didn't have that. Uh, Small of a reach compared. He had his, uh, but the problem is, Ali is the heavier fighter. He's the physically stronger fighter, and he's got the longer reach. And his style is designed to keep out of the reach of his opponent, which means Floyd Mayweather is outgunned and outstyled in this fight completely. This there's a reason you don't have weight classes mixing mixing very much. At best, they may you might get like a a middleweight versus a, um, one second, a middleweight versus, uh, like, a, you might get, like, a, a whatever the a cruiserweight was the one below heavyweight when I looked at it. So, you might get a heavyweight versus a cruiserweight so, in, in certain circumstances. That's not an average thing, that ha even a common thing that happens. But you might get that. You never get four to five weight classes difference of individuals fighting each other. Now, to be fair, because of his smaller stature and um, um, and his um, you know in his you know physicality, he might actually be faster overall and just clear jabbing. 
But again, Ali was no slouch in that either. He literally delivered punches so fast, you just didn't see it coming. He knocked people straight out. If Floyd Mayweather gets even one hit from Ali on him, he's done. Ali will lay his ass out on the on the canvas. He's just going to just knock his ass out. And even if Floyd maybe even takes one hit and keeps going, Ali just has to go in and start just laying in haymakers, laying in jabs. And I'm sorry, Floyd loses that fight. Floyd loses that fight because their, their, their weight divisions are just too vastly different. That, I think, is actually the real deciding factor in this fight. It's not style versus style, although Ali's style benefits him a lot more in this case. Um, it's not um, their uh, record, because record really doesn't mean much comparing comparatively. It comes down to the fact that they were two physically different people. They were in two vastly different weight classes. Uh, Ali, Ali was just, is just too big physically. But it'd be like if you tell me to put Mike Tyson against Floyd Mayweather. Again, Mike Tyson was a heavyweight fighter and he had one of the hardest right hooks. Was it the right or the left he was? I can't remember. But he had one of the hardest hooks ever in the history of the sport. If he, if Floyd Mayweather, achieving he is, he was, it was, undefeated, tried to take a hit from Tyson, he would go down hard. Hard, fast, and he would not get up. It's the same thing here where Ali would, boom, just get it. Basically, if Floyd actually got into Ali's defense, Ali would just take the punches. And the minute, the minute he saw an opening, boom, just, that, that'd be it. That's all she wrote. So, yeah, it's got to be Ali in this fight. Because I'm looking, he's like, oh, that's, when I started this fight, I'm like, oh, that'd be a cool fight. They might go back and forth. Then I realized... Oh, no way. Ali was at minimum 50 pounds heavier. He was a completely different class, literally, than Floyd Mayweather was. That's not taking anything away of the skill of Floyd Mayweather. He's literally 50 matches, 50 wins, undefeated. Ali had a couple defeats. There were some uh, mitigating circumstances behind those defeats, but he still had a couple defeats. Almost no one's record is perfect. Mayweather's record is perfect. But again... Mayweather, it is literally, I, I on average weigh about 180, 175, given, given day exercise and all that. That's where I, I um, usually stand. I'd actually be considered weight class wise, boxing class, uh, boxing weight classes. But as a boxer, if I actually, you know, toned up, became a boxer, all that, and I guess add maybe 10 more pounds of muscle because I probably would, or lose muscle, depending on what would happen. Um, if, let's just assume that when I, if I actually tried to become a, a boxer, I stayed within my normal weight range. I would be, roughly speaking, either a light heavyweight or closing closing in on cruiserweight. Quite frankly, uh, and if I if I were to take boxing seriously, I would be eating more protein, working out more, so I probably would be getting some weight and muscle. So I'd be closing in. At, I would probably be a light heavyweight because I'd have to gain what twenty pounds to be a cruiserweight. Uh, oof, that's. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could be. <laughs> I don't know if I could be a cruiserweight. I mean, I in theory could, but I have to do a lot of working out for that. And frankly, I'm more of a. I'm more of a wiry build. Uh, I have muscle. I'm not. I'm not out of shape. I'm just not a boxer type. <laughs> and that's not entirely true. I'm just not designed for it per se. I could work at it and become a boxer if I wanted to. I don't know if I'd be any good, but I could do the training and all that, and you know, try to go in the ring. But ultimately, no. I. <laughs> I'm. I'm not cut out to be a a uh, sports fighter, unfortunately. Just not because I can't hold my own in a fight, just because holding my own in a fight means I don't have any limitations of what I could do. And in an arena, and in like UFC or um, or boxing, there are rules you have to go by. And I don't want to follow those rules if I have to be in a fight. So there you go. Uh, anyway, I digress. So my money, 100% of time, it's going to Ali. Ali, again, not taking anything away from Floyd, just Ali is... At minimum, as skilled as Floyd is, or was, um, had a style that would have been perfectly suited to counter Floyd's, quite frankly. And it was just a completely different weight division. Like, literally, a completely different weight division. Heavyweight is actually unlimited. Cruiserweight is around 200 pounds. Heavyweight's unlimited. And at best, at best, Floyd it was somewhere in, like, the Walterweight superweight. A super Walterweight. So, yeah, he, Ali was literally five divisions above him. So, yeah, it, it wouldn't be good if these two met in a, in a ring. 
Ultimately, though, that's my thoughts. Maybe you think differently. Maybe you know boxing a lot better than I do. Very possible. There's a lot of people out there who probably know boxing better than I do. I have a slightly above average knowledge. I am not a boxing expert or a UFC or martial arts expert by any stretch of the means. I just have an above average knowledge of all these things. That's about it. Uh, so that's my thoughts, Ali. Let me know if you think different, and if you do, why? Put it in the comments below. But also, if you like this uh, video, you like to see more, put that in the comments below as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put it in the comments below. Let us know. Until then, see you later. And I've got one more what if. I got one more video to do. It's a what if. It's a what if that a lot of people have been asking for too. So not as much as the last one, but a lot of people have been asking. Till then, later.